Really, honestly, for the most part, bookkeepers don't need to advertise because there's more work than we could possibly do. The question about how to find clients. First and foremost, the vast majority of people, once they start telling everybody that they're doing bookkeeping for their, for their business, they started a bookkeeping business, usually clients just start falling out of the trees. Really, honestly, for the most part, bookkeepers don't need to advertise because there's more work than we could possibly do. Your cousin's buddy at the gym and your Aunt Susan's hairstylist. Like, I mean, if you, if you have your friends and family start spreading the word and you just tell them, you're probably going to find clients that way. And they're getting referred to you from someone that's in your life and knows you. So it doesn't feel strange it's not like they're just finding you as a stranger on Craigslist. They know people that know you, and that's safe. That makes people feel safe. So that's the first thing. We've had bookkeepers join our bookkeepers collective that within six months, they're maxed out and can't take any more clients. And a lot of times it is that word of mouth, friends and family word of mouth, okay? Next thing, it is good to be friends with CPAs. I know that you're saying that you're brand new to bookkeeping, but obviously you've done some bookkeeping in the past. You have to, you have experience. And so reaching out to CPAs, giving them your business cards, you know, finding one to partner with maybe, those are also opportunities for you. The other ways of finding clients, I mean, obviously you can advertise and things like that, but really honestly, for the most part, bookkeepers don't need to advertise because there's more work than we could possibly do. Okay. Reach out to friends and family. You could join the local chamber of commerce. I know that's a it's a hit, but you know, usually a couple hundred dollars. You can join the chamber of commerce and you could do some presentations. You could have a little lunch and learn brown bag, something about bookkeeping and get the word out about yourself. Or usually if you join the chamber, they allow you to do promos on their emails. You could send out an email, you know, something that's educational. What do you want to tell people about? Hey, tax season is coming. Do you have a, do you have a bookkeeper yet? Are your, are your books behind? Right? Something like that. But all of this, at the end of the day, it's all about what's in here. Your confidence is what's going to make or break this. I have somebody that I've had help me with household type projects, repair and maintenance for years. And he doesn't have confidence in himself. He feels so much guilt about not getting schedules correct and having delays. He gives away his time. He charges less than he should. And he just doesn't have that confidence. So don't be that. You have to find inside of yourself confidence. And you already did by starting your own business. So wrangle that confidence and you don't need to tell the people they're your first client or your third or your hundredth. You're there to provide service. You can provide the service and what you can tell people is your history. What on the job experiences have you had that have caused you to want to do bookkeeping? Why do you want to do it? Why is it your passion? Tell people your story and trust me, you will have clients coming to you. But it all starts here. You have to have the confidence. You have to have the confidence to not feel like you have to explain away your lack of experience or clients. You shouldn't explain away your skill sets. You should be telling people the reason why you're awesome and they should work with you. And that's hard to do at first. It's hard for a lot of us to be that person. But you have to find that in yourself and push that out into the universe. And when you do, trust me, the clients are coming. They're coming for you. There's gonna to be too many. So create your infrastructure, look professional, have professional invoices, have a professional consulting agreement. That outward facing professionalism, create your logo, have a company name. Those are all things that are gonna make clients feel more comfortable with you because you're gonna look professional, right? Don't use your personal Gmail address. I prefer it if you don't use a Gmail address at all normally, if you're a bookkeeper, that you actually take the time to build a little website, maybe it's only one page, and you have an email address that goes with that website, it gives people trust in you because it is other people's financial data and they can get worried. And so you want to build up trust and confidence in everything you do. So look profesh, get your logo, get your consulting agreement, get all the things in order, you know, have a checklist, you know, 
do your onboarding with your client. Those are all things that you can do. And please, please, my friends that are struggling to get your first clients, don't undercut yourself. Don't charge $40 an hour because you don't feel like you're worth more. That's not gonna help people have confidence in you. You need to charge a reasonable rate for your service. Prove your confidence and knowledge. I charge $70 an hour. Really, honestly, for the most part, bookkeepers don't need to advertise because there's more work than we could possibly do because I'm worth it. It's gonna cost you on average $250 a month to have me do your reconciling and stuff, right? But you have to build this confidence up and it takes time. And that's why getting referrals from friends and family can be so lovely at first because there's that connection, that inner person connection. So best of luck to you, but those are some ideas. Go forth and get them. You got this.